All right, guys, we're back with another Ren reaction. We're now on Money Game Part 3. Can you believe it's been a whole year since I last posted on this channel? I haven't posted since last year, since 2023. Actually, I have a... No, I'm kidding. I actually posted a joke. I posted a joke last week. I'm going to do it really brief, and I'm going to get to the main punchline to the joke. I'm just going to show you the main punchline to the joke, just the beginning and the, and the main punchline. So here it is. <laughs> So, where have you been for the last two days? It's been more than two days. I haven't seen you in a year. Not since last year. Because he owes me drugs. I need money. I need drugs. I need money. God damn it. I haven't seen you since last year. And uh, also, on January 12th, it's going to be one year since I got this chocolate from Dominican Republic during my Dominican Republic vlog. And uh, we're going to eat it exactly one year after we bought it, which is in two days because this is January 10th. But it's probably not the day I'm going to release this video. But anyways, uh, I want to keep that brief. So, Happy New Year to you guys. It's been about two weeks into the year before I've released. So, anyways, uh, this is my Ren reaction to Money Game Part 3. Which is a 9 minute long video, just like High Ren was. I know the first Ren video I ever watched. I didn't react to it, but I saw it the first time I ever heard Ren. And it was a sick song. So, let's see what Ren's got to say in this one. Here we go. This is Money Game Part 3. And uh, the, actually, the Dominican Republic vlog is unreleased, so you probably won't see me release the video of me eating the chocolate after your my Hershey's one was way longer. But somebody ate that one, and it was just sitting there. I just have the tease of it. Anyways, this is Dominican. I mean, this is my Ren reaction. Money game part three. Here we go. I feel like Ren has run the one playing, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he knows a lot of different instruments that I'm just beginning to apprehend. I know he knows guitar and he has really good vocals. I don't know what other instruments he knows and he knows singing and rap. But it looks like he's wearing the the like British gang hand, like the kind of the hat that you see in Peaky Blinders that the main character wears. It looks like he's wearing one of those hats. Uh, and I got that one from... Or the one that you wear, not the top hat, but the one you wear in Assassin's Creed Syndicate. With the guy, I don't really have it on me right now, but that's what I feel like he's wearing. But anyways, let's let's not let's not make any stops. This is the guy from Money Game Part 1. Looks like he got a suit everything. Or, or maybe it's going to be Ren unmasking. But that guy was also playing guitar. Now he switched to piano. And he got eyes in Money Game at the end of Money Game Part 1. They showed him Money Game Part 2. But it looks like he is blind again here in Money Game Part 3. And I said I would not stop. And I did stop the piano. So that's my bad. Ren's about to show up, but from where? Left side? Oh, oh my god. Oh my, the way there, the, the way to flipping the camera like that, and then you got the music just, now the music is getting in because you know the artist is coming. That just, I'm, I'm going in a spin. It's like hypno, that's like, my, my head actually, I feel like I'm dizzy now. But that's re- I, I love that. And, oh! The way the piano's on that too. It's like blending in with this. Look at that, Samuel, I'm sorry. Samuel and Ren video. I don't know who Samuel was. Maybe he's the piano player. Still got the rope. Okay. So one of them is Ren. I think... 
that guy might be Ren. No, this guy. This guy is Ren. This is definitely Ren. They're both blind. Definitely Ren. I was thinking that was Ren. I wasn't too sure. But the guitar was different. Uh, am I right? Am I? Yes! Yes! I'm right! I'm right! That's Ren! Got the whole suit on and everything. Well, oops. That, that was an accidental pause. Okay, okay. If, if you heard Money Game Part 2, it kind of ends like this. Well, not... I don't know if that one, but... The second part I watched where he's on the seashells part, that kind of ends like that where he had this like tune and then you know how albums, they connect like these at the ending of each song is another and this is like, this kind of like a mini album and it sounds like it's connecting because that's what he does at the end of Money Game Part 2. As far as I remember. And he does this in uh, he has a faster version of this in High Ren as well. I don't know what the fuck I'm looking at. Okay, okay, I'm so sorry that I'm stopping this, but now that I'm thinking about it, he's looking in the mirror, and in the first two money games in the chorus, which I'm pretty sure is in this chorus too, he does say, you have you look in the mirror and you're the one to blame the person in the mirror, and he's now, he opened it up, and now he's looking in the mirror and he's blaming himself, and I feel like that's the... The connection or that's the symbolism they're showing here anyways maybe i'm wrong but that's far as i know from the first two choruses let me tell you a story about a boy named jimmy one years old and his first words were mine, mine, gimme. Two years old he was walking, three years old walking quickly. Four years old he was running round the pavements of his city. Five years old and his daddy told him, listen here son, you gotta learn to be a man. A man he works for what he wants. Six years old and he's reading writing, top of the bunch. And when he's seven, his progression made him student number one. Eight years old and he's praised for unusual grades. Nine, his parents paid for private school to nurture the flame. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, he ascends and ascends. His daddy tells him, son, money is the means to all ends. Fourteen, solving complex mathematical equations. At fifteen, IQ 150, still L. 16, he develops complex software code that detects weaknesses in cybersecurity protocols. 17, and he sells his vision, keeping the share. Not yet an adult, but he's practically a millionaire. 18. So, so he's getting, he's getting, uh, he started at a young age. They get the concept, and even if you play all these games and everything, they, money is the main concept in the, any game you play, or most games you play, or it's some sort of trading. But let's not ruin Ren's monologue here. He develops complex software code that detects weaknesses in cybersecurity protocols. 17 and he sells his vision, keeping the share. Not yet an adult, but he's practically a millionaire. 18 and his daddy tells him, now you're a man. This world don't give a damn about you, so take all that you can. 19, he turns a profit, stocks and shares, invest in product. 20, double down deposits. 21, his income rockets. 22, he learns the truth is just an obstacle to wealth. If human Manipulate the data, then the lie will sell itself. 23, a life of luxury, crystal and cocaine. 24, he makes the Forbes list, they're applauding his name. 25, and his daddy tells him, listen here, son. While you're sitting in that palace, that don't mean that you won. So, so he's technically saying the 10 steps from Money Game Part 2. Because I think step 10, it was 9 or 10, where he said that you wave, you smile and wave, you're now on the stage. You've won the game. But have you really won the game? I, I, I honestly don't remember the exact line. But now he's the father's saying that he didn't win the game. And he's doing the smiling and wave everything. And this is all symbolism to what he said in Money Game Part 2. So I feel like you would understand this more if you watched the first two parts. Which I'm pretty sure most of you did if you're tuning into Part 3. Unless you just skip to the ending. 
think there's gonna be a part four. Let's just wait. There might. 26, a business folks list, they're applauding his name. 25, and his daddy tells him, Listen here, son, while you're sitting in that palace, that don't mean that you won. 26, a business shift, he switches business to arms. He's 27, dealing nuclear and shells in Iran. 28, inside the Senate, money bought him a seat. He's 29, a role of counsel in the president's suite. Now he's 30, his daddy says, You're losing the race. You're just a servant to the king, not even in second place. 31, a big maneuver for his daddy's approval moving imports over borders from the exports out of cuba 32 moving grams growing kilos to tons he's 33 filling warehouses with powder and guns 34 turf war with nobody to stop it blind eye from the popo inside of his prof oh, shit. i thought he was gonna say profit okay I'm, I'm sorry i thought he was gonna say profit and then he started with pocket so okay. Let's do it again. Tough war with nobody to stop it. Blind eye from the popo inside of his pocket. It's for a run. 35. He gets the call. I'm sorry, son. Bitch, your father Dad. had a heart attack. I'm sorry, he's gone. 36. Getting pissed off. Abusing his product. 37. Eyes glazed. Disposition demonic. 38. With a prostitute. A moment of passion. Heating up a silver spoon and then chasing the dragon. 30. They always bring up silver spoon. I work at a silver spoon, the restaurant. Uh, all right, let's just get back to that. Because I know Kendrick Lamar always says that. I like to rap those lyrics. Like, we don't know a silver spoon yet. We never knew. And that's a silver spoon, yeah, bitch. And like said that we never knew. But I, would pref I always, like, connect to the restaurant. But they're probably connected to a silver spoon as in the luxury of the richness of it. Eyes glazed, disposition demonic 38, with a prostitute A moment of passion Heating up a silver spoon and then chasing The dragon, 39 Getting breathless and hungry for power Daddy's words are still driving him To kill and devour Makes a move against the cartel but the strategy's Flawed, they retaliate and Leave him in a hospital ward A bullet buried in his vertebra And one in his leg, the doctor sighs And says I don't think you'll be walking again Fuck So it was all about the money, you know, he never, uh, uh, the way the story is being told, I feel like he never, if he got a prostitute, he never really felt love and the main love was for the money, like his daddy said, and he's still trying to make him proud even after the father died and like he went crazy because it was the money that he was obsessed with because you're nobody unless you, I guess you have it. Buried in his vertebra And one in his leg The doctor sighs and says I don't think you'll be walking again Fuck The whole life story I wonder how far it goes To 80 the court of law oh my god let me tell you a story about a boy named jimmy he was 40 and he cursed the words mine mine give me 41 he wasn't walking 42 not walking quickly 43, never running round the pavements of the city. 44, inside a palace with a mountain of gold. But those riches turn to rubble and perspective evolves. Weighing heavy on his conscience is the value of gold. Lamborghini for a life, trading money for souls. Jimmy followed the code inside the land of the free. Put your hand inside the cookie jar, take more than you need. And his example is exaggerated versions of me. And it's a version of him. And it's a version of she, and it's a version of you. There's no escaping the blame. The way we live is parasitic. Fuck the money and fame. Call the music. The way we live is parasitic. Fuck the money and fame. And I know someone said I pretend to know everything in one of my other videos, and that was kind of funny. But I don't know. This is just my perspective. 
And uh, according to what Ren's saying, it is a parasitic game because people parasite. They want you to know money and people get corrupted by money, you know. There's people that don't get corrupted by money and they find love, you know, and they're still... But most people in the world, especially in today's world, they're corrupted by money. They care more about money than a relationship, than other, than all the other stuff. And they, some people, I know someone that wrote, I, I heard a story of someone that wrote, uh, she wrote the whole wedding, wedding thing. And then they got married. And then according to that, I think they're getting divorced. And it's like, she, she wrote the clause. And according to the clause, that guy owned a lot of stuff. And she wrote, that guy didn't even read it. And when he signed it, and it's 80% went to her. That that's that's what they told me, so I don't know if that's true. But yeah, it's it's just a corruption, you know. You don't know what's real and what's fake because people, most people are usually after money. That's what makes people fake. Cause, and you hear music rappers talk about, you hear music talk about, and this Ren just showing the whole story, uh, behind it. And some people change and become corrupted, and some don't. So it also depends on the person that who's handling it. And it's a version of she, and it's a version of you There's no escaping the blame, the way we live is parasitic Fuck the money and fame, call the music This isn't entertainment, this is real life The way we live is lunacy, community it declines Hyperpolarized, always fighting, then we divide Truth is less important than the money that we designed. Money's an invention. Politics from our invention. They all come from people's ideas. Did I mention? Borders an invention. Law and order fuel the tension. It leads to people killing each other. My solution. Was he gonna kill himself? He said killing each other. There is a gun on the table, so maybe he kills himself. Everything is subject to change. We could build utopias if individuals were taught to use their brains. But if we teach kids in schools to always be sheep and put themselves before the herd if there's more money for me, then there's no future I see where the humans survive with parasites inside a petri dish with cannibal minds. Mold will grow upon the surface and consumes till it dies. And our fate could be the same without this story to the wise. Forty-five. Jimmy comes home out of the rain, soaking wet upon a wheelchair, drinking again. He is everything he wants. He is fortune and fame. He's a fortunate fool with an unfortunate fate. With a forty-five oh. caliber aimed at his brain. Forty-five, a fitting number, cause his age is the same. Here's the words of his father. It's such a damn shame. Then he presses on the trigger of a money game. Mm. That, that was, that, there was not as much music in that one, but the intro was like amazing. Uh, that was a really sick video. I enjoyed it. And this one, so in the first, I honestly don't remember the first one. The first money game was about, so people taking over people's lands and everything is free and like he said everything's been invented money is an invention governments i i was governments say that they don't have enough money but they're the same people printing the money so and the more you print a currency the lower the currency uh, as far as i don't even know how it works the lower the currency will go because more is being printed which means more being distributed and i guess the less you print a currency the higher the currency will go because there's less people that have that currency, so it's more valuable to go around. Uh, as far as, at least what I think, I my favorite money game. If there is a part four, I do not know. It feels like there will be, but my favorite money game was part two. I love the even though part two did not have a proper music video. I love the story in part two it, because in part two he really explains the game. Part one is like he 
part one i honestly don't remember part one i i remember part two he he explains the game and part three he's he's putting somebody in the game so part one is every not the, not everything everything that is free they make it into payment part as i think a uh, part two is the game and then part three is an actual person that is playing the money game so that's what he does in part three so i don't know if there will be a part four i think it's a thrillology huh? because but you never know you know you never know what someone is thinking they always have even if it ends in that way they always have another thing but this has been money game part three and i gotta keep it brief you know, we got 10 minutes on the street, but he's playing in the money game, all corrupted inside his brain. You know that everything is going to leave a mother motherfucking stain, and it's kind of strange. Life ain't a business, but you need it to get rich. That's a song that I wrote, but I never ever released. Really bad rhyme, I don't know why I even tried. And I'ma slide into place, and I'ma get it in the tide. My favorite one was Money Game Part 2, where he explains it all. But Money Game Part 3 was showing a person inside of the routine of the... Pl- Showing a person that's been parasited, that's been living inside a routine of doing the same. And I guess everybody the same, always chasing the same thing. Hold on. There's actually one thing. This is my last thing I want to say before I end this reaction. I hope you enjoyed this reaction, by the way. Hit that like button, comment. Any other reactions you want me to do by Ren or any other artist. Any, uh, maybe like this, similar. Or, uh, and subscribe. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. But I actually know a story... That's the end of the video. That's the end of the video. All right. Well, there's three seconds. I actually know a story about this guy. Uh, I don't know if it's a true story or not, but it was about these two brothers. And one of them, they wanted, they always wanted everything. That's technically what Ren's saying. Because they always wanted anything. They wanted the new DS and they said, you got to work for it and you work for it. And this brother, there's one brother, he keeps on working. He keeps on working. He keeps on trying to get the next thing, the next thing. And he, he gets, he keeps on getting it, but he craves more. Just like the, the person in the video, Jimmy. He's king, mine, mine. And the other brother, he's happy in the moment. You know, he felt he does not go chasing after this thing. He lives in the moment, all the little things in life. And the, the older, I think it was the younger, I think it was the younger brother that got, got all this money. And uh, he like, he got depressed, you know, he was getting him coin. He didn't even know what he was chasing after a while. And then he saw the younger, the older brother, or the younger brother, I, I don't know which brother it was, but he saw, he saw him and that guy, he didn't go ch- chasing. He had a lovely family. He had, he didn't even go chasing. And then he asked him, he's like, how do you, how do you not want to chase all this stuff that's, that's being around, like the material, right? And the younger brother said, well, I'm, I'm loving the moment. I'm enjoying the place that I have. Because when you're enjoying the present as it's a gift to you, you're enjoying everything that's around you instead of thinking and wanting more and more and more. You're never going to stop wanting more. You're just going to keep on wanting and wanting and wanting, which means you're never going to actually enjoy the position that you're in. I mean, you'll enjoy it for the moment, but that moment will never last and it will keep on changing. Anyways, that has been my reaction today. We're high Ren. I will do the chocolate video, but I don't know if it will be released for... Well, until that vlog comes out, and I have like eight different vlogs in like 10 different countries. So if you want me to release the vlogs, just hit in the comment section below. Uh, only one is done, and that's the Vancouver one. Only day one of that. Anyways, but that's been my reaction for today, and I hope to see you in more vid. Hope to see me in more videos, or hope you come and tune in, and uh, everyone that's supporting the channel. And this has been Money Game Part 3, here with Ren. That's my reaction, and until next time, this has been KSB, and I will see you then. And that will be this year. Guys, it's now January 12, 2024. Exactly one year since we went to Dominican and got this chocolate made with real Caribbean cocoa. Wow. And today we're going to try it. That looks so good. Mm. Mm. Oh, is it good? Not really. Still tastes good, yeah. So bad. Mm. Still tastes like cocoa. And that... It's one year old Caribbean cocoa chocolate mm-hmm. made with real Caribbean cocoa. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.